What you gonna do now when your safe world comes crashing down? When just a spark of love starts a fire going round and round. Oh, your skies now are stormy, the sun is too bright. Don't know up from now, sleep all day and all night. There's just no hiding now. It calls your name out loud. It's gonna find you somehow. When love. I just want to say uh, a few things about Marcelo. Uh, I've been saying it to the few people I've been chatting with, but uh, for those of you who haven't yet learned uh, about Marcelo, you might want to know that the man who designed, built, and then drove that car is not a scientist, he's not an engineer, he's an airline steward with a marketing background. Uh, I have some questions about his marketing ability because he's run out of money. <laughs> but the point is that this is a young man who, not by virtue of training, not by virtue of some company saying, go out and do this, by virtue of individual inspiration and then blood, sweat, and tears, uh, he hasn't talked about the tears, but I'm suspecting that there was a little bit of that because I suspect that there was more than a little bit of personal sacrifice involved in this. And in fact, I know that there was more than a little bit of sacrifice involved in this. But Marcelo, based on a news show that he saw, showing a competition of solar cars, said, I want to do that. And not just, I want to go out and build me one that will go around the block. I'm going to build one that's going to bust the world's record. I'm going to build one that's going to go to the Arctic, to the North Pole. I'm going to build, okay, it wasn't the North Pole, it was the Arctic. <laughs> I'm going to build one that will show what one person can do when he sets his mind to it. Now, it took him 12 years from the time that he actually saw that <coughs> news show to the point where he said, I'm going to leave my job for a while and I'm going to do this. He, it took him 12 years to work up the courage to do that, and then it took him 10 years to build the car. But I would emphasize again to you that this is a person who doesn't come at this with a whole lot of specialized training. This is somebody like you and me in one sense of that word, but this is someone unlike any of us, I think, because of what he's been able to achieve. Now, before I invite Marcelo up to tell us a little bit about his story, uh, Senator Carol Liu, California Senator Carol Liu, had wanted to be here this afternoon, uh, but uh, has been taken away, I can't say by what, uh, but uh, has, uh, has asked her deputy uh, to come and represent uh, her and to make a presentation. So, Leah, over to you. Good afternoon. Well, I'm pleased to be here representing Senator Carol Liu and to thank the Consulate General for uh, hosting this event. And I am very excited to see the Canadian-built Power of One Solar Car XOF1 and to meet Marcelo. And congratulations to you for breaking the world record. So thank you so very much. Well, it's a privilege to be here and share my story, share the project with you. Uh, I'd like to start with the master's uh, If there is the only thing between you and your dreams is yourself, you can accomplish anything you set your mind to it. Uh, as the Consul General said, uh, it took me 12 years to convince myself that I could do this. In an interview some time ago, I was asked what was the most difficult part of the project, and I was believing myself. Everything we do in life is based on two things, pain or pleasure. It hurts, we do something about it because it hurts. It feels good, we do something about it because it feels good. The pain of not following the dream became unbearable. I had to do something about it. And then 12 years ago, I said that. <coughs> and what pushed me over the edge was a friend of mine. He was, my roommate at the time was an engineer. And I wouldn't stop talking about solar cars. And, and uh, he did some uh, search 
and he came back with a stack of paper that said it took 50,000 hours to build a solar car. So he left that stack of paper for me and he wrote, he circled it's 50,000 and he said, he wrote, it, that's equivalent of one person working 40 hours a week for 25 years. Good luck himself. When I saw that I thought, well, if it's going to take an engineer 25 years, it's going to take me a lot longer. <laughs> so I that and uh, I have been very fortunate to find some incredible people that should be with me. And volunteer sponsors, I have donated product service to, that help me put the project together. Uh, the best way that I can describe the project is if you've seen the movie Forrest Gump. Life is like a box of chocolate, you never know what you're going to get. And feel the dreams, if you build, they will come. That's the project.